how we can actually load in the packs. So the packs and the new preset manager is a big part of the 1.5 update on the Core Jam plugin. And one of the things we can do here is look at being able to import a pack. So packs are essentially, you know, new ways of actually accessing, again, expanded content. So one of the things it will do is allow for us to open up this ADSR sounds pop for core jam pack. And we'll be able to open that up. And again, it helps you to keep everything nice and, you know, nice and organized here. And you've got all these lovely kind of presets here, which is quite cool. And you've got all these different song starters that are, you know, ready for you to access. So what we can do is potentially, you know, have a little look at this in the context of the first instance of Core Jam that we've got while I simultaneously try and sort my camera out at the same time as doing this. All very fun. Again, we can just import that pack again because it's just a slightly separate element. Uh, path of name. All right, okay. So I can just reload the plugin. So let's reload that. Core Jam. There we go. We can head in there. Pop for Core Jam. There you go. And again, what we'll do is just make sure that we've got Core Jam and then Core Jam here as well and then just turn everything else off so we can kind of hear it properly and we can start playing around with some of these so again you've got the ability to not only you know import packs like this adsr one which again you'll get with the plugin but you'll also get the ability to save your own packs essentially which you know you can click here save new preset you could then take this preset one for example and then be able to you know create a new pack shall we say just make this slightly bigger pack name click on the pencil call it adsr paul and go to the preset here preset one and two i can then drag that into a pack which is really nice. And then we can click here. You can add graphics to it, everything else. You can export packs as well. So you can share them with people. Maybe you're collaborating with somebody who works with Core Jam as well. So you've got that to you know really, really work with there, which is quite cool.